Today we are going to take a look at an alternative to iClouds, to Google Drive and other cloud services to organize our pictures, our photos without paying any monthly fees and with unlimited storage or almost unlimited storage. We are going to get photo storage without paying monthly fees and without running out of space. You'll be able to share your photo library with your close family members or those far away and as soon as one of them takes a picture it will be shared with your library all while having full control over which devices have access. It can be installed on Android or iOS and you can manage everything from any computer and the best part is that only you have access to the photos because everything is stored right over here on this Knapp NAS. We can manage Knapp NAS on our computer but we can also manage on any of our mobile phones. We will be able to check all the information, we will be able to create new folders, organize our folders, our documents by using Knapp apps that are available for Android or iOS. Now we will talk about this Knapp Nash in just a few moments but for now all you need to know is that once we get it out of the package we just need to plug in two cables, press one button and it's ready to use from our phone or any PC in our home or even while we are traveling. There are a bunch of applications that we can install on a Knapp Nash. Today we will install QMAG which is an app for organizing and backing up photos. After installing it on the NAS, we just need to install the app on our phone, whether Android or iOS, and then select if we want automatic backups and which folder we want to save the photos in. There are a lot more settings that we can tweak here and there in QMagic, but if we want to get started, this is it. Just install here, install here, and that's it. Now the way that it's configured right now on this phone is that any photo that I take here is automatically saved onto my personal cloud. If I install the app on another phone it does exactly the same if I configure it the same way. I did install it on my Google Pixel 9 Pro and I did also install on the Huawei Puda 70 Ultra and two other devices and every time I take a picture on one of them the library updates and syncs across all the devices whether we are taking or deleting photos and this will work the same for videos that we record with our phones. Now if I delete here it will appear here the same and if I take a picture here it will appear here here and on my computer if I access with my computer and it's simple as this without any monthly fees and the limit in terms of storage depends on the drives that I insert here. At this moment we have three Seagate one terabyte each so a total of three terabytes but I usually use Toshiba N300 drives for 8 or 14 terabytes. So if you install 3 times 14 terabytes, you will have 42 terabytes. And if you need more, you can place in more. So 42 terabytes of storage for pictures and videos, it is a lot. It's almost the same as saying that it's unlimited. Because if we check out the storage space that we have on our cloud to save pictures, probably it's about 100 gigs or 200 gigs, while we are talking about not gigs, but terabytes. 3 terabytes, 42 terabytes, 96 terabytes, sky is the limit. This is the Knapp Nash TS364. It has a 2.5 gigabit connection, 10 gigabit USB ports at the back, one 5 gigabit port at the front for additional storage or peripherals. It also has an HDMI output so we can connect to a TV for example. It supports three drives and runs RAID 5 if we want to, that's one of the options, so that we have data protection. It also has two NVMe SSD slots that we can use for extra storage or for caching and it features a quad-core Intel CPU with 8 gigabytes of RAM. And besides the important task of storing our photos, it's capable of running many more apps like smart home management, home automation, video surveillance and a lot more. We are very familiar with the operating system, both KTS and KTS here, which are both supported on this NASH. For those that know what a NASH is, then this is a great option, not only for this, but for many other things that we can do. For those that don't, this is basically a full-fledged 
computer with storage that is connected 24 7 to our network and we will be able to access on any mobile phone here on the network or outside we can also access via a computer besides being able to organize all our pictures and so on and so forth it can do a lot we can back up documents we can back up our computers we can store our movie and series library and then we can share them with our multimedia boxes at home for example so we can run a lot of services and we can install a lot of apps on a Q Nap Nash. So there is a lot that we can do with this Nap Nash. Today, I only wanted to focus on a simple but complex job, which is to back up and organize all our photo library from our phones, especially if we have more than one phone, more than one family member, where we want to have a solid library where we can share between one another the same pictures and update everything. And although we talked about Q Magic, there are a lot more things that we can do with the app that I didn't mention. It has Facebook recognition so it will organize pictures according to the person that identifies it has AI a lot of features which we can record one video just talking about the features of Q magic hope that this video was helpful and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one